Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. It's Blizzle Wellness. Yes, today we're going to be making chicken pot pie on the stove top. Yes, chicken pot pie on the stove top. So let's get started. I'm going to bring you all down. We're going to cook this on medium. You just need a half a stick of butter. Let that melt. Don't burn your butter, you all. Don't burn the butter. Yeah, just let it simmer. My stove top was on eight. So I moved it down to about six or five. This is a glass top stove, oven. I'm sorry, stove. I was right the first time. <laughs> Now we're gonna put our onions in there. You can use yellow, white, or red onions. Doesn't matter. Remember, just let it like simmer, okay? Yes, I love me a good chicken pot pie. Yes. Let them simmer, like saute them. It smells so good. And now we're gonna put a, a third of a cup of flour, like a roux. Make it like a roux, it's gonna give it the thickness, okay? Gonna make it, give it a thickness. It's stirring and everything is popping out. <laughs> we don't want that. Okay. Now we're going to be using some minced garlic. Stir that in. Now we're going to be needing some chicken broth. Put the whole thing in there. It'll be like two cups. And just stir it. Just stir it all around. As you see, the the color is changing here. So that's a good thing. If you want to add a little extra flour, you can, but you just only need a third of a cup of that. Just a little sage. These are your herbs. Not gonna put that much in sage. And we're gonna be putting in some thyme. Okay, just a teaspoon of that. Not much. Now, this is to your discretion. You don't have to use sage or thyme. Some people put sage, thyme, and rosemary in it, but we don't have to do all that, okay? Just a little. 
and as you can see it's coming to a thickness already and like I said before I have my stove top on between five and six because you don't want to overcook it you want to cook it on high you don't want to cook it too fast you want to let it simmer cook slowly okay now we're going to be putting in our mixed vegetables I'm using canned vegetables whatever I had on hand and it has everything in here corn potatoes string beans peas carrots okay and when you have canned vegetables make sure you rinse them out before you pour them in your mixture okay all in one if you want to do it um homemade you can you cut your own potatoes up carrots up beans corn whatever you like in it some people put celery in it but i'm not going to be using celery yes and it's coming like a root now like a gravy like a thickness it's the thickness of it okay it's thickening some people put heavy cream in it but i'm not using that some people might want to use milk but i'm not this is the thickness that i need the flour does it all okay yes don't want to rush it now we're going to be using some chicken bouillon chicken bouillon like a tablespoon or so of that chicken bouillon i had cubes <clears throat> so i pressed them down and yeah and it's in this chicken mixture <laughs> Just a little bit more chicken bouillon in there. Okay. The next step is um, your cream of chicken. Two cans of those. <coughs> cream of chicken if you want mushrooms you can do them homemade um, buy them and cut them up or already made um, cream of mushrooms but I don't want cream of mushrooms in mine no mushrooms at all <laughs> okay I'm doing my second can of cream of chicken see that you may have made more than enough you can save that and make some more or however you want it make sure you get all that goodness out of that can okay I'm not going to add water to it I'm just going to discard those in my and put them in the trash <laughs> Everything is coming together and it smells so good, you all. So good. Okay, we almost done, you all. Stir that up. Stir that mixture up in there and get all that cream of chicken in there. That's the thickness of it. With the flowers coming, it's becoming and becoming. Now, if you see that, you need to turn your aisle down a little bit more. You can. Like I just did, I put it on four, between four and five, instead of five and six. So creamy, it's creamy, it's creamy, it's creamy. Now we're going to be putting some shredded chicken breasts in there. What I did was boil my chicken breasts and then I shredded them. Now you can use what type of chicken you want, but this is what I use. Yeah, some people use rotisserie chicken, but I don't want that. Yeah. We're going to get all this incorporated together. 
make sure your chicken is shredded and not in big chunks. But some people like chunks, so, but this is how I'm doing it. So whatever your discretion is, go for it. How you like it. Make sure everything is coated. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and put some seasoning on here. We're going to do a teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon and a half. <laughs> Pepper. Teaspoon and a half. Okay. Now we're going to be putting some parsley in there. Put your parsley fillets inside of there. And stir. You want to mix everything up. Like I said, you could have used frozen vegetables or the whole vegetables and cut them up or however you want. But I had canned vegetables and I made sure that I drained all that sodium off, that saltiness, rinsed them, and then put it in the mixture. Okay? Now we're going to be using garlic powder. Want that good garlic powder in there? Onion powder. That's so good, you all. We finished with our mixture, you all. We finished. Don't really have any uh, measurements for the. Um, garlic powder and onion powder. Just put it to your discretion how much you like. Gonna stir that. Okay. Okay, now you all, we're done with that. Now I'm going to bring you over here because we need to put our oven on bake for 400. We're going to put it on 400. And we're going to cook it um, for 45 minutes to an hour. So guys, I will be back to show you the rest of the recipe. Okay. Okay, guys. As you can see, I put a little flour on my table here. I wiped everything down and I have rolled out my pie crust. And by the way, I'm using Pillsbury pie crust. It comes with two. Okay. So this is going to be the first layer. Just shake it off. Okay, it looks like you make just like you're making a pizza, okay? Get that firmness on it. All a part about baking, okay? Like I said, you can be gentle with it because you don't want to break it up. 
You can just brush the excess flour off. Brush that off. Okay. Getting that ready. Sit that to the side. Okay guys, now that we have prepared our mixture for the pot pot, now we're going to come over here with our cast iron skillet and we're going to butter it. You need some more butter like a half or whatever to butter your skillet. Go all the way around that skillet. Yes. You don't want no dry pot pie. You don't want to be too buttery either, okay? So how we gonna do it? Wash my hands. Well, this is going to be a delicious meal, okay? I've seen some people use um, rolls or whatever, but we're going to use our pockers. We're going to be using our pockers, okay? Let that simmer. Cut your aisle off. We're going to move this out of the way. Bring you all over here. Closer. After you melt your butter, just cut your aisle off because we don't need this the um stove top anymore. We finished with that. Okay. And now we're going to put our pot roast in here. You are already seen that how we prepared it. Out. Okay. Just lay it in there. This is your bottom layer of your crust. And it lays so beautifully. Perfect. Okay. That's why I say be careful when you put the flour on it because you didn't want to break it up or whatever. Now it's time for our mixture. Yes, our mixture. Let me get my mixture. And while I was off camera, I put a little cheddar cheese on top, but not much. You don't have to use it. It's to your discretion. Now I'm going to mix it up. I use sharp cheddar cheese just a little bit. Okay, and now we're going to add the mixture on top of the crust. And by the way, my oven is already have um, preheated 400 degrees. We're going to put it in there for um, 40 minutes to an hour, 40 to 60 minutes, which is an hour. And we're just going to layer it. We're going to put it in there just like that. This is a hearty, good recipe. Yes. Make sure it's filled up. I don't know how much chicken you um, cooked up, but make sure you put enough of that chicken in there so it'll be hearty and whole. Okay? And all we're doing is just putting our topping on top of the first crust. And your oven should be already ready. I set it on 400 degrees and we're going to let it cook for 
40 minutes to an hour. 40 to 60 minutes. I'm 400. So good, it smells so good. It is so creamy, as you can see. It's very creamy, very creamy. Mm. And it puts you in the mind of uh, chicken texture, texture If I'm saying it right. just want to make sure we have it all in there now I said before when I was filming earlier it's good to make more than not enough so I have some left over so I can go ahead and make me some another pot pie for another day yeah if you have some left over you can put it in the freezer or whatever and make it up no later than a week <laughs> okay okay I think we're ready for that we're going to sit this to the side everything is turned off Okay, we're back at our table. This is the second pie crust. And by the way, um, my pie crust was not in the freezer. It was in the refrigerator. And you let it sit out for at least 20 to 30 minutes. Okay? Put that flour on it again rub it on there make sure you're gentle with your crust okay I'm just going to spray it on there okay and this is what we're using again if you didn't get it before Pillsbury pie crust two comes in the box Okay, you all, we're ready for the second layer of our pie crust. And before we do that, you see I had a lot left over. So I could make me another pot pie. Okay? And you could use any crust you want. So, it's to your preference, okay? But, what you need to know um, is to get you one egg. This is for your wash for your topping um, to make your crust brown on top yes and I put parsley in here so this is what this is your egg wash so you need one egg and now it's time for our top layer of our crust gonna sit it on top and you can make a little design and go around it like that however you want to do it press it down just a little bit and you know what you all don't have to use a cast iron pan you can do it in a um, pie crust pan, however you want to do it, okay? Yes. 
but make sure you just put that on there just like that okay and I'm going to use my knife or you can use a fork go around it like that you could use any design you want make sure your oven is already ready preheated 400 degrees for cook for four to five minutes to an hour okay Make sure you have that opening when it's ready. Okay, now for our wash. Just gonna put it like that on there. Make sure the whole crust is coated. Go around it and in the middle. So that's going to give it that pretty brown color, okay? That's what this is for. The egg wash. Okay. This is our final and last step, other than putting it in the oven on 400 degrees for 42 and an um, hour to cook. But make sure you keep an eyeball on it, okay? Just making sure I have everything coated. Because you want to get that pretty brownness. I don't want no white crust. To your description. Okay, and it's ready, y'all. It's ready to go. It's ready to go in the oven. And I'll see you back in 45 to an hour. Hey y'all, I'm back. The pot pie is ready. The chicken pot pie is ready. Let me bring y'all down some. Yeah, y'all see it? It's ready, baby. It's ready. Bring y'all a closer look at it. It's crusty and everything. It's ready, y'all. It is ready. It's ready, baby. It is ready. Yes, we're going to cut this. I'm trying to wait till it cool down, but we're going to cut it. Yes, I have washed my hands. We're going to cut it and plate it, and we're going to taste it together. Okay, y'all. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Yes, I can't wait to cut this in and plate it. So now we're getting ready to plate it. I'm cutting this. Y'all see it? Y'all see how I did it? Yeah. We gonna cut into it. It's ready. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well. 
in Philadelphia. Uh huh. Yeah, this crust is so. I ain't gonna do it. I don't know what y'all can see that. I'm gonna turn this light down. Can y'all see it? No more store bought, store bought, store bought um, chicken pot pie. You know, I can remember back in the day when we used to love those one dollar um, chicken pot pies. Yeah. Mm hmm. We grew up on those, but this, your homemade one, make it yourself, it's better. And if you do buy them, those um, store-bought ones, they have taken the consistency out of the ingredients that they're using. It's it's not the same. Like when we were growing up, yeah, I'm going to be 49 in October. Yeah, I will be. So, I can remember when. It don't taste the same anymore, but this, mmm, y'all. Crust is good. You need that crust. I'm loving it. Mmm. My hair out of it. Let me get on it. Well, baby, this is it. Mmm. Mmm. Make sure you all share like and subscribe to my channel i'm almost to 800 yes so y'all i'm gonna try to keep these videos coming yeah for you all i know what y'all like but yes this is my dinner for the day yes i love it Thank you all for tuning in to Explosive Wellness. And you all have a great day.